Hey everyone, it's Caleb over here at Daryl's Buick GMC. So I got a comment on this video and I'll be tagging you in the comments. Um, so being able to put YouTube on the Buick and Vista screen. Now this is the all new 2024. Well, this is actually a 25, 25 Buick and Vista. And this is the Avenir trim, but it's the same on all the trim levels where it's their, whether it's a preferred, a sport touring or an Avenir. I'm gonna show you this little, uh, what I call a magic box. There's tons of options available on Amazon. I'm gonna be showing you the one I have, uh, which is a Garland kit. It's a full Android automotive system. So I'll be doing a full, um, I'll be putting a link for a couple of them that I've seen recently that are great. Now this is model CPC200-T-Box. And uh, let me go ahead and flip it around and show you what it's like and I'll show you how to plug it in. So to set it up, of course I have the Garland kit. You're, all you have to do is grab your USB and plug it right in down there. <laughs> if I can get it done right. There we go. So as you plug it in, what you'll do now, even though this says it is a Android kit, um, it's actually going to use Apple CarPlay, which is weird in, in my opinion. So I'm going to wait for it to go ahead and decide to connect itself. Once again, this is a little bit of an, a dated version that I have. I've had it for about two years I believe, um, but there's newer models online. So this is just going to go ahead and connect. It will need to calibrate, so I won't really, well, heck, it's working better than what it was a minute ago. But you, you hop into your settings, you connect your internet, and uh, I believe I can do that here. So we go to Wi-Fi, and then we find our Wi-Fi network. I'll do our Hendrick guest that we have here. Of course, it's a little hard to see. There we go. Let's go ahead and focus that. So now that it's saved, we're connected to Wi-Fi. It's still calibrating itself, as you can see over here. It's not fully into the internet. But once you're connected, you can go ahead and you know watch YouTube videos to, to help answer your question. You can watch YouTube videos in here. And then let me make sure it's got it connected fully. But you know, needless to say, all you have to do is plug it in and wait for it to load. Now that is how my box works. Most of them are gonna be very similar. Other options you can get will have uh, say an HDMI port or something on it. This is just a basic USB-C and then it has SD cards available. With me having a couple of just Wi-Fi issues, which you can solve by connecting to the vehicle's internet, which for a 2025, you're gonna have an, at least enough to uh, run you know, your, your built-in Google Maps system or things like that. That's a one thing new for 2025. You'll get another eight years of free, like almost free OnStar basically as well. Remote, you know, the remote app, that sort of thing. But you're able to fully connect your box into your vehicle. As long as you have Wi-Fi, you can also use a hotspot. I just need to calibrate this one properly towards the screen, but I'm gonna be using it in, in a bunch of other vehicles. So there's no need for me to calibrate it uh, since I use it primarily in my personal vehicle. I want to say thank y'all again for watching. I'll put a couple links in below on a couple of them that I think that are great and that are a lot better than the one I have here, given that this is a dated system. But thank y'all again for watching. I'll see y'all soon.